Hello, people! It's Poe, and we're back in the dinosaur world. I uh, just wanted to start recording as I was finishing up the the floor here in the Dino uh, Mon Center, <laughs> the Dino uh, Mon Center. And oh, look at that! I'm two blocks short of a full stack, as they say. <laughs> You're a block short of a full stack. It's like a really offensive thing to say to someone. Anyway. Um, two blocks short. But the floor is... I could actually probably use those, but... Eh. Got plenty of these. There we go. There we go. Uh, so anyway, yeah. There were a few dinosaurs that we forgot in our... What's up? Oh, the ball's in the water. Yeah, I guess you would have some problems getting that, wouldn't you? I apologize. Sweet tooth. Let me just, uh, whoa! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let me, let me get it first. Let me get it first. No, come on. I'm gonna end up beating you to death here. 82 out of 200. Let me get this. No, 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 don't kick it, don't kick it. Come on, come on. Got it. Okay. Soccer ball. I'll run all the way over back to here. Boom. It's in place. Actually, there's, there's another one right here. They can all play with. Put that down. There we go. You guys have your toys back. Guys have your toys back. You can get out of the water then anytime there. I don't where's my leads? Where's my leads? Alright. So let's go ahead and bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce. Go ahead and finish those two little blocks. Boop and boop. Okay. I did put, yeah, I don't know a whole lot there, but I should have more done. Anyway, yeah, I, I was starting to say, and I forgot because I was looking at Sweet Tooth getting stuck in the water there, but we did forget a few dinosaurs. And it's not that I really forgot about them. I actually had thought about them, and then I for Well, okay, I forgot. <laughs> I had thought about them, and for whatever reason, um, for some reason, I, I just, it slipped my mind. But I had been thinking about them, and it slipped my mind. So, Bubbles, which I think is the official name of the Pleasysaur that is in the nether. I'm not sure, actually, if that is still Bubbles, or if Bubbles is like, it swam far away. I don't remember. Uh, but we do have another plesiosaur, and we have um, a couple allosaurs who also live in the nether. Are they not? Oh, there's one. Let's go give this baby allosaur a little checkup. Oh, and you too! Hiding in the corner there. I remember the times when you guys looked red in color. I actually kind of preferred it, I'm not going to lie. No offense to your current color, of course, but, uh, mm. let's see here. Allosaur, 13 out of 15. That's pretty good health, I would say. What are you at? 13 out of 15, exactly the same. Very nice. We've got some meat, not a whole lot, I can see. We got some, though. I'll be on my way. What are you doing in here? Get out of here. Ooh, that scream, though. It almost makes me feel bad. And I remember it's Eleptic Tedium, and I hate them. I think I hate them more than I hate bats. Hi. We need to do something. We need to get some ice in here, don't we? We need to get some ice down so you at least have some... something. Alright, let's check. 
Health is 15 out of 18. Otherwise, pretty good health. I gotta come back to the nether more often. You know, I, I really, really, really do. It kind of annoys me that we don't have a better looking uh, nether area. And in fact, you know, if I was to do this whole park over again, let's say, let's pretend for a second, close your eyes, pretend that, pretend that we, we somehow, some way, were to reset the server. Reset this world. Start a season two. And I'd be like, hello, 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 how, how do I say it? <laughs> Hello, people, it's <laughs> Poet. I forgot how I say my thing every day. Hello, people, it's Poet. I say that, I've said that probably 2,000 times. More than that in my life. Like 3,000 times. <laughs> and I forgot. But I would say, hello, people, it's Poet. And welcome to season two of the Dinosaur World. Season 2! And it would be a completely new area. Completely new. First thing I would build is my pagoda house. I want to build... No, no matter what I do, no matter where I go, no matter what happens, I would always, always, always build the pagoda house again. Because it's just... You know, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. It was one of the very, very first things that I built that I was just super proud of for some reason, you know? And looking at it now, um, I, I don't know if I really like the way that it's styled or the way that it looks anymore. It's sort of weird looking. I don't know about these corner pieces if I'd do the same thing again. Um, but there was just something about it when I built this pagoda house. It, I was so proud of it. Like four years ago, three years ago, four years ago, however long ago it was. And I think that if I were to make a season two, this house would be there for sure, for sure. But anyway, that's who cares about that, right? Um, thing is that I would probably make it so that all the herbivores, the herbivores, the plant eater of ores, they would be in the overworld here. Okay. So you'd get all these herbivores and they'd all be in the overworld just like the pachycephalosaurs and the parasaurs and the triceratops and brachiosaurs and things like that they would all be in the overworld and then i would probably take every carnivore including like spinosaur and dilophosaur and um well deinonychus and t-rex and all them move them all the carnivores would go into the nether I just, I feel like that would be so epic that we like, we go into the nether and all of our carnivores are in the nether, you know, in these reddened, darkened hallways and, you know, ghasts spawning in, pigmen walking around. It would look, to me, pretty epic. That's just, that's just my opinion. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. That's just my opinion. I might... Well, mm -hmm. but then the more I think about that, that, you know, I don't want things getting ruined by ghasts. I don't like the idea of ghasts destroying things or spawning in. This guy would definitely go into another... In fact, I should send him there right now. Gizmo. I remember your name. Hmm. Oh. What's it shooting at? You're just mad at the world, aren't you? Well, anyway. Man, that poison, though. It's kind of a cool effect, though. <laughs> Not that it's realistic at all, of course. Necessarily. There is no evidence that suggested that these dialos actually spit acid or anything like that, but if they did, if they did, if any dinosaurs did, you know, because scientists, paleontologists don't really know what the dinosaurs were like in that sense. It's not totally likely that they spit acid like that, um, like some lizards do, but it's possible. Anything's possible. And if any dinosaur 
spit acid. Not necessarily Dilos, but like just any dinosaur spit acid. That would be terrifying, wouldn't it be? And of course these quills, these quills on the backs of trikes. I've never, ever, 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 ever been a fan of that. Um, the nodules that they find on certain Triceratops species or maybe not necessarily Triceratops, but other similar family creatures. You know, I, I don't, just imagine this massive creature shooting spikes at you from its tail like a porcupine, you know, just shoot them at you. Whip its tail and smack you and you got spines all in you. You know, maybe that's what a Triceratops was like. Maybe it maybe it fought back sort of like a Stegosaur's tail. Except its tail might have been covered in these quills or something. You know, just so much we, we still have yet to learn about dinosaurs. It's so nuts. It's so amazing. But anyway. Oh, I remember what I was going to do. I need to go all the way. I need to go all the way out to the ice area and gather myself some some ice for the another plesiosaur there. Bubbles, if that is its name. Oh, I, you know what I was also gonna do? I was gonna go let these free, wasn't I? Okay, hold on. Is one of them a female? Uh, male. Gendered. Where's the female? Is this the female? Uh, yes. Okay, so this one's the female. This is the one right here that I want to keep. These other two... Really can't be bothered... Keeping them alive. Um, I want to be able to separate them somehow, and I don't know how. I just don't know. I thought, like, maybe if I, like, I break the fence a bit. This is a bad idea, isn't it? If I broke the fence and then I was like, boom! And then I ran! And then I ran! Oh! Okay, that did not work. That did not work. That did... <laughs> that... I ran! I ran, I wasn't fast enough. I have speed pants and everything. I ran. He's faster than me. A T-Rex is faster than me. Go figure. Uh-oh. You guys getting awfully close to the, uh... Aw, oh, crap. All my stuff is... strewn about. Of course, I have to get it now while he's asleep, otherwise they will attack me again. Did I get everything? Got my sword, my picks. That's really all that I care about. Um, kind of hard to see. Okay. Maybe if I hit him with a bow. And I know that sounds horrible. But seriously, I kind of just want the one alive. Eh. Oh, I yep, wrong chest, completely wrong chest. There we go. Arrows explode on impact. Uh I'll try this one maybe. Do I have arrows for it though? Hmm. Surely. Are you... Are you kidding me? We can make some, right? We do have chicken feathers, right? Yeah, okay. And then sticks. I can make sticks, okay. What the heck, man? What kind of world is this where we don't have... Where we don't have, uh... Arrows. That's the word. Alright. Great. Let's try this. What is this one? Quick draw? Quick draw. 
the uh, the sh- 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 breath. Sh- 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 breath. Let's see if I can. Okay, where am I going to lead these guys if I do get them to come towards me? Uh, hmm. Oh! Are you kidding me? Boop! Are you kidding me? <laughs> the, the arrows bounce right off of his head. Look at They bounce right off the head. These T-Rex want to eat. So bad. The problem is that they can glitch through fences, so... Boy, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do I got my Do I have my poison? I can put them all to sleep with the poison stuff. I know that much is true. Let's go and do that. Let's go get some poison. Uh and first of all, save Oh, look at this. It's almost as if I planned this. Let's go save those Pachycephalosaurs. There we go. Bounce, 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 bounce. Up to the top of the trees. Where I can get a good vantage point. And... Okay, that's two of them. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. If I, if there was a save button in this game, I would use it now. Um <laughs> Okay. Uh right. So there was a recipe that I made, wasn't there? Um hmm for the uh sound <laughs> the way the mumbling it almost sounds like I'm Ian Malcolm here. I've got one scarab gem, but there was another way that I was crafting scarab gem. Did I make that recipe? It was like three, four, five, a block. Was there gold involved? There should be gold, honestly. The dino, you, just, you know what they should do? And this is just me speaking frankly, because the scarab gem uh, doesn't look anything like anything else in the, uh, the game. It is very, very rare and difficult to get. But there should be a crafting recipe for it. And I think that it would make a lot more sense, um, rather than making it a rare thing, that you make it something that we can craft. Like, for example, add in, instead of like, you know how you have diamonds and emeralds and gold and iron and stuff like that, add in another one called ruby. You'd have rubies found everywhere. You know, that's ruby red. That's that's red like a ruby. Right? So, maybe in certain biomes they spawn more. Kind of like emeralds only spawn in the extreme hills. Maybe in like, I don't know, the, uh, the plains biomes or something. Uh, or in the desert. Or I don't know where rubies naturally spawn in the real world. But, you know, make them so that the rubies spawn in, in random chunks. And you have to mine them up, and then it would be like, you know, four rubies and then gold arms or something. Like, oh, oh, I just got a cool idea for the recipe. See, it has six legs, but <clears throat> what you could do... Um, I got some gold here. Uh, and say, say that these are rubies. Let's say that those are rubies, okay? So you'd have, like, your four rubies... And then you'd have like, like that would be your scarab gem or something like that. Or maybe we could even go like that, you know, would be your scarab gem. Um, 
I think that would be really, really, really cool. I guess you could also do like kind of like that. Or maybe do like, here's an idea. You'd have to get, to make it more expensive and more rare, you could always have like, you know, the block of ruby, <laughs> the ruby block, then go like that, then go like that. You know, that's sort of cool. What do you think, guys? What do you think? What do you think? That looks pretty good, I think. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But if these were rubies instead of redstone, wouldn't that be awesome? But, of course, that would be the only use for ruby in the entire game. Um, <laughs> but, of course, then you could do ruby weapons and, you know, to make them more paleontological. Or archaeological. You could do, you could say that they're like ancient ruby weapon or something. You know, just because. But anyway, let's go ahead and take this scarab gem. We do have one scarab gem. And I can tame one of these sleeping T-Rex. And I want the female to be tamed at least. At the very, very least. I want that one to be tamed. Um, so let's see now. Where did it go? Oh, it's there. They're like side by side. I gotta basically push one, and not the other. I'm having trouble pushing. I really don't want to waste the scarab gem on taming the wrong one. Oh, and if I right click, it could tame either one of them because they're like side by side. They're they're identical, really. Honestly. Come on. I wish. Can I use a lead when they're this low? Okay, I'm gonna just try it. I'm gonna just try it. Yes, I got the right one. Oh my god, the chances of that. Uh, and now, I think... Because, <laughs> I think, therefore, I am. I, I need to go... Woo, laggy. I need to go over here quickly because this is a wild T-Rex on the loose. Get some of this. In case of emergency, break glass. Never before has there been a better emergency. Than, th than this. I almost didn't see it there. Okay. Let's go. Jump. Okay, okay, okay. I think I... I think I can control here. Stay and follow. Follow, follow. Oh, perfect. I also need healing potions now for this one for sure. I think... Right, how's your health? 80, oh, full health, okay. So when you tame it, it gets full health. That's fair, that's good. All right, and now do this quickly here. I'm just gonna go like this because it will teleport inside. There it is. And wander. There we go. Mission accomplished. But we still have the other two T-Rex that are currently asleep. And unless I figure out what my what my uh, recipe was for scarab gems, I'm not sure what to do. I guess I could always just, you know, chop, chop on them. But that would be a very, very drastic measure, I think. Jurassic measure? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? <laughs> It'd be a drastic measure. <sighs> but in order to save the lives of these Pachycephalosaurs, I may have to do that. Unfortunately. I guess we'll have to wait and see, guys. If I can remember what the Scarab Gem recipe was. The other option, of course, is to just cheat some in. Cheat some Scarab Gems in. Do what I did before and, like, throw, I don't know, four diamonds into the lava. You know, that's what I did before. I went down here. Went all the way down here. I took the diamonds and I threw them into the lava. Boom! 
pretend that's a diamond. Boom! And I spawned in some scarab gems to make up for it. Kind of an even trade, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, we'll see, we'll see. I don't necessarily need them to be tamed to me. I just want them out of the park at this point. So I don't know how we can do that, but... Well, hopefully we'll figure it out. Either way... That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video, comment below, do all those other awesome things you people do. And once again, don't forget to check out those live streams of Jurassic Craft on the Feed the Beast server. I'm doing another one today, as a matter of fact. If not, I haven't already. Um, and it, it's just so much fun on there. Can't wait to play with you guys on there if you are a patron or a sub. And uh, we'll see. Oh, yeah, it's all dark here, huh? Hmm. I'll have to fix that. But anyway, <laughs> with that, we'll be seeing you guys next time in the dinosaur world. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.